Hello everyone, I cordially welcome you all to another video from the React tutorial series and in this video we are going to discuss on JSX in React. So what is JSX? JSX is acronym for JavaScript extension. It gives the ability to developers to write HTML and JavaScript together. As we are using TypeScript in our tutorial, we will use TSX which is just equivalent to JSX but with some strict type checking provided by TypeScript. So if you are not sure what is TypeScript, so TypeScript is a superset of JavaScript. It basically helps us to write JavaScript in an efficient way. That actually helps us to reduce errors in our code and write efficient JavaScript. JSX or TSX is not directly understood by our browser. So every JSX code needs to be transpiled to vanilla JavaScript. In this tutorial, we are not worried about setting up a transpiler as the Create React App toolchain automatically handles that for us. So if you are not sure what is create react app toolchain, so you can watch one of our previous videos in which we have discussed what is create react app, what is the toolchain and how create react app enables the developers to set up react development environment so that a developer who has just started to learn react can get the environment ready in no time and can focus on the application rather. Okay, so let's go to the next slide and check an example of JSX or TSX. So in JSX, we write const JSX equal to hello world by tutorials in hand. So this resembles like a variable JSX, which has a const like the value of JSX cannot be modified and it stores hello world by tutorials in hand string. On the other hand, in the TSX example, we have just defined an extra type and the type is of JSX dot element. So here we say const TSX is a variable which will store an element and we assign hello world by tutorials in hand to that variable, okay? So now we have to understand how actually JSX works. And this is the aim of this slide, that is JSX behind the scenes. The JSX or TSX is not directly understood by our browser. So every JSX code needs to be transpiled to vanilla JavaScript. Every JSX is converted into react.create element that the browser understands. So if you are worried what about TSX, so the process is same for TSX as well. As I have already said, JSX or TSX is actually the same thing provided whether you are writing your React code in JavaScript or in TypeScript, okay? So this react.create element method has the following signature. It contains type, props and children. So what are they? So what is type? Type is the element you are creating. Props is the properties of element. In functional components, props are the arguments that the function receives. Children, it is children of the element, which means that if you have some children, then you have to again write react.create element. And if you have some simple children like a general string, you can directly write that as well. So let us see an example. So welcome to our code. And in this code, we will see how we actually write JSX or TSX and how actually that works behind the scenes. So here, if we have watched our previous video, we have created a functional component in which we have written welcome to tutorials in hand. Now we are going to do the exact same thing, but just with a different approach. I would erase this code and rather as I am using TSX, so I will write const tsx which is of type jsx dot element will store h1 hello world by tutorials in hand okay and what i will do i will just return this tsx nothing very fancy nothing very special a very simple code I've initialized a const variable, which will be of type JSX dot element. It will store an H1 tag and within that H1 tag, it will contain a simple string. Hello world by tutorials in hand. And I will return that TSX variable. Okay. Now let's run our code and check what we are getting on the browser. So npm start and that will run our code. So let's hold on for some time and see. So as you can see, we can see hello world by tutorials in hand on our browser. Okay. Now we can achieve this exact similar thing just by tweaking the code. So as I have said, the JSX or TSX internally gets converted into react.createElement. 
So let us understand how that happens. So when you write this code, internally it becomes something like react dot create element and see within this create element type and props. So for type, we are going to create an h1 tag. The props will be null and the children which it will have is hello world by tutorials in hand. Just to let you know that our string is different rather than putting an exclamation, I am putting four dots. Okay. And now again, if you can see previously, it was an exclamation. So if our code works, we will see three dots, but in the exact same fashion. So let's see. And yes, see previously it was an exclamation. Now this will not work. Even if I close this tab and update this one. So you will see four dots. Okay. So this is what it happens when you write any JSX and return it basically internally. This is what react understands. Okay. So this is our code and we have actually understand how it works behind the scenes. So there are a few rules about writing JSX, which we need to understand. So let's again go back to our slide and check. So there are majorly six rules which are required to be known when you write JSX. The first one is there must be one top level element which has to be returned from the given component. This is done just to wrap up the entire content in a parent div. So if you are aware about functions, so you will know functions can only return one element that can be a number that can be a string and that can be anything but as a one whole entity. Similarly in react in functional component we have to return only one element. So whatever UI code you return that needs to be wrapped by a parent div. Now if you don't want to mess up the DOM and increase the number of divs in your code, you have something in react which is known as fragment. So this is out of the scope for this video. So we will discuss about react fragments in one of our upcoming videos. So but this is the rule you need to understand that from your functional component or your class component, you can return the JSX, but the JSX should be wrapped by a parent div element. Point number two, the rule from writing HTML tags has to be strictly followed. All elements must have a closing tag. In case as some HTML elements don't have a closing tag, they have to be self closed. Like tags h1, h2, they have an opening tag and a closing tag. But for tags like image, img, those tags don't have a closing tag. So you need to auto close those tags. This is one of the thumb rule of writing good JSX. Point number three, a react component must be capitalized. Otherwise they are treated as built in components and are thus treated as strings. Number four, to write JavaScript expression in JSX, you must wrap the expression in a pair of curly braces. Now, what is this thing? Suppose you have a variable where your name is assigned and you directly want to write that name on the DOM. So for that, you can wrap that variable within a pair of curly braces and that will work and show your name on the DOM. Point number five, class is a reserved keyword in HTML. So class name is used. This is one of the most common mistake which beginners make when you write a JSX. For div elements, you write class and assign a class name to it. Never do that. Class is a reserved keyword in HTML. So in React, when you write JSX code, you must write class name instead of class. But the thing works exactly the same. Point number six, all attributes in JSX uses camel case convention. Okay. So when you write any attribute in JSX, you must follow the camel case. And what is the camel case? The example you can see on my screen. Class name C is small, N is capital. Tab index T is small, I is capital. So this is all what you should know about JSX. 
I hope you like this video. In case you like it, feel free to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. We are going to bring up more videos in our in the upcoming future. And if you have any queries, doubts or feedbacks, feel free to post them in the comment section. We are going to reply. So thank you for now. See you in the next video. Bye.